Today is uh, Sunday, April 18th. Just going to do a few minutes of a uh, mid-April tour of the garden. I've got some purple top turnip in here. I um, have to thin that out to 10 centimeters apart soon. Um, some squirrels have been tossing it around so you can see the gaps. Um, this is an arugula that I planted last fall and it seems to have come back. This is a parsley that I grew indoors and put out. It looks a little rough. Uh, probably started it too soon. This is um, lavender. Got some green onion. Uh, actually, they're onion bulbs that I put in in the fall because um, I was told that you could do that. I have a very, very tiny uh, cabbage seedling there. Another tiny cabbage seedling there and that one the critters like to turn up. This is a blackberry cane uh, that I was given in the fall um, but I don't see any new growth so I suspect that it may supposed to be new growth coming out of a place like this etc but nothing. This I just pulled out a uh, weed from. This is a um, flowering plant of some variety that I got from someone in my garden club uh, and this is rhubarb that I was also given um, from someone else in my garden club last spring um, and it's come back really good I wasn't able to harvest at all last year because it was too spindly or, but this year it should be all right um, this is an area that I introduced new under this red maple or Japanese maple I had tried growing peas under here um, in maybe September, but it, it grew, but nothing actually produced. Um, and this is another new area that I've introduced just in the spring now, because I realized that this Norway maple tree that I have here uh, had little to no leaves through March and April. So I thought I could try transplanting some lettuce, which I did, and I was worried it wouldn't work, but it seems to be working. This is May Queen lettuce. Hopefully in a few weeks I'll actually have some lettuce. And what else do we have here? This is the compost bin that I got late summer, maybe early fall last year. For most of the winter it was overflowing with my mom's food or mine. And now I've tossed it every week for the last couple of weeks. And it's actually went down quite a bit. And it's starting to actually look like soil. So this should be good. I'm going to toss this again on Wednesday. Got absolutely nothing here. Last year I grew fava beans, um, which tanked out at the end of June. And uh, then I replaced it with cabbage. I've tried putting some broccoli transplants in here, but no success. I need to get a new grow light. This is something new. Um, underneath this garbage bag is about 25 parsnip. Um, seeds or 25 parsnip areas that um, I'm hoping to grow. Watch this lady on YouTube. Uh, this is garlic that I planted for the first time in the fall, October, um, and it's coming up pretty good. I've got about a dozen, I guess, there. So if this is successful, this is definitely going to be a permanent. And then I've got a couple of very, very tiny kale transplants in there you can't really tell them with the weeds and this is a new area that I just dug up after the rain today uh, that I'm hoping to put more stuff into um, next month stuff that given that I'm on the laneway uh, hopefully people won't want to steal but so far I've been lucky and this is another area where I put good majority of all my leaves in the fall hoping to create some leaf mold which I'm also new to creating. Um, so that's it for Sunday, April 18th. And uh, I've got some straw over there that I'm hoping to use as mulch rather than this red, red mulch that I used last year in the garden beds. All it does is really get into the beds and it's just not good, not appropriate. So that's it. And...